Yo, so today I'm going to be breaking down an ambient melody for someone like Drake or maybe Don Tolliver and then throwing some drums on it at the end. Alright, so the sound I started off with is a classic synth pad from Analog Labs called Ack Lunar. Overall, it was just a really nice, gentle, ambient sound that really fit the melody well. And then here's the MIDI for it, and unfortunately, I can't remake this from scratch since I just played this out on the MIDI, but I'm in D sharp minor, and I went ahead and figured out these three chords, just played around till I got them. And then this last chord is just a duplication of the second chord with the top note removed. Next, I went ahead and just quantized all the bass notes so the chords are still hitting on time, but the top notes that are still strummed the way I play them still give it a more human feel. Then I went ahead and just added these chops at the end of every four bar to just kind of switch it up a little bit, and I also re-strummed these as well so they still feel human. Finally, I went ahead and made this top line just by clicking it in, so I grabbed the root note of the scale, which is D-sharp, and just put that in twice and then figured out this little dark roll here using the notes next to each other in the scale. I mentioned this is pretty much all my videos, but they give off a more dark, eerie feel, so it works really well for these ambient type of melodies. And then finally, before I rendered this out, I went ahead and pitched it down three, so it's in C sharp minor. Overall, it just sounded a little bit nicer and a little bit deeper. And then like I mentioned before, I had to render this out because I only have the demo version of Analog Labs, so I rendered it out twice and just kind of split up the melodies, so one render is just the top line and one is just the chords, just so I could affect them a little bit differently. So for the effects on the chords, I just have a little bit of reverb with the decay turned up, Magic Switch, which is a free chorus plugin, Gross Beat on the Tremelo preset, which is automated, and then an EQ just to cut the lows, and an Imager just to make it feel nice and wide. And then for the effects on the top line, I went ahead and grabbed this Portal preset called Open Rotation, Finisher Micro on the Infinity preset, which is automated, an EQ just to filter it out and make it sound really nice, and then finally a Pancake just on the default preset, but I went ahead and turned the LFO to one bar, and the mix down to 32. And then the only other noteworthy thing I did with the chords is change the mode to stretch, change the pitch range to one, and then went ahead and created an automation clip on the pitch. And then I just have it doing these little sweeps and like going up and down right before the chord changes. So it gives it a little bit of a detune right before the chord changes. Overall, just kind of makes it have a little bit more character and sounds really nice. So after all those effects, here's what it sounds like. So overall, I think splitting up the melodies and affecting them differently just kind of made it a little bit more unique and more interesting. And then for the next sound, I went ahead into Omnisphere and grabbed a bass preset called the Growler Moog Bass. This is just one of my favorite presets from Omnisphere, and it's just a really deep sounding bass. And then for the MIDI, it's super simple and it just copies the bass notes of the melody, so there's really not much explaining. So here's what it sounds like. And then for the effects on that, I just have Portal on the Morph Driver preset, and then an EQ just to kind of cut the highs, because the Portal gave it a lot of highs, but also a lot of movement. So I wanted to get rid of the highs and just keep the movement part of it. And then for the next sound in the melody, I went into Keyscape and grabbed the Wing Upright Dark Indie Piano. This is just one of my favorite pianos to do like high accent melodies with it and it also sounds really good reversed. And then here's the MIDI for it. So how I came up with this is just clicked in these two notes that just kind of sounded good and fit with the melody, and then just copied the chord from the original melody here and here. But here I just kind of changed up the voicing and switched around the notes, so it is a little bit different, but still pretty much the same chord. Finally, I just ended up copying that dark roll from the original melody. Then I went ahead and selected everything and did Alt-Y and flipped it horizontally because I ended up reversing this, so this way I don't have to worry about chopping it and making sure the timing's right. So before I rendered it out and reversed it, I added some effects. So I added reverb with the decay turned up, an EQ again just to filter it out and make it sound nice, and then a portal on the crystalline accent preset. So after I rendered it out, reversed it, and added effects, here's what it sounds like.
So overall, it's just a really nice, simple, high, like, accent reverse melody. And then for the next sound, which again, I use this kind of like a high accent melody, is the slide plug from the Eclipse Serum Bank. This has been one of my favorite plucks recently, and it just sounds really nice. And then for the MIDI for that, it just does these rolls that copy the notes from the chords pretty much exactly. And then I went ahead and copied that over again here, but just kind of picked and chose from the notes and spaced it out so there is a little bit of like a difference. And then again, in the second half, it just copies the notes from the third chord instead of the first, so it matches up really well. And then again, just kind of picked and chose from this roll and spaced it out a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting. And then I went ahead and rendered it out from there, and I added the same effect chain from the last sound with the reverb and the portal but then i also did the same effect that i did in the chords which had changed the mode to stretch changed the pitch range to one and then automated the pitch and i forgot to mention this when i was talking about the chords but when you're working with the channel pitch you really got to make sure that everything that you don't want detuned you go ahead and type in the value as 0.5 or 50 percent just so it's still in tune and only out of tune when you really want it to be so after the effects and the pitch automation here's what it sounds like And then for the final kind of high accent melody, I went ahead and found this one shot called Sign 2, just from some random one shot kit I got on Reddit. But pretty much just, it's just the sign bell with some like tape cassette or isotope vinyl on it. So you could just make your own. And then here's the MIDI for this. And it pretty much just copies random notes from the first chord. And I went ahead and made this little triplet repeating pattern. So this two bars just repeats for the entire pattern, as you can see here. And the only variation in it is what is changing in the bass notes, just matching up with each of the chords. And then again, I went ahead and rendered this out. And I did the same double time effect that I did in last week's video. So how you do that is just click on it and then mess with the time knob so it's half the length. So it'll put it up an octave, but also speed it up twice and then for the effects on that i just have half time on the one bar preset with the smoothing turned to swell and the mix turned down to 96 percent fruity chorus on the default preset i have a shaper box on here but i don't think i used it fruity love filter with the cut knob or automated row speed again on the tremelo preset which is automated and then an eq again to just filter it out and make it sound nice and then finally another pancake on the default preset again it's turned down to one bar on the lfo and the mix is turned down to about 30%. So after all those effects and automation, here's what it sounds like. So again, it's just a super simple high accent pattern that just kind of adds a little bit of movement to the melody. And then for the final sound in the melody, I grabbed this bell called Lunatech, again from just a random one shot kit I found off Reddit. But this kind of sounds more like a playable texture than a bell, so it sounds pretty cool. And then here's the MIDI for that. So with this, I just kind of clicked it in by ear till I found notes that sounded good. But I usually for these kind of patterns, I usually have them layered exactly where the clap would be. But since the BPM so low and I didn't really know where the clap would be, I went ahead and just offset it by one cell. So it's a little bit different than something I would usually do. So overall, it's just a super simple accent pattern. And here's what it sounds like. And then for the effects on that, I just have an EQ to cut out some of the highs and then also cut the lows. And then this EQ actually just takes out the parts of the sound that kind of sounded more bellish. So I kind of morphed it into being more of a playable texture. And then finally, I added this ambience, which is just on the default preset, and it's turned about halfway down. So yeah, those are all the sounds that go into the melody, but I did add one more thing, which is just a bunch of different drum loops and texture loops. So here's what those sound like. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that went into the melody, and I ended up pitching it up one in the end after I rendered it all together. So here's what it sounds like.
So yeah, that's pretty much it for the melody, and now we can get started on the drums. Alright, so that's going to be pretty much it for the video. I'm pretty happy with how the drums turned out. Uh, I haven't really done drums like this ever, so I tried this a couple different times and it's the best take. So uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a splendid rest of your night. Bye.